happy thursday and welcome back everyone i'm happy to have you here with me today i am making one of my favorite jamaican breakfasts and it's liver green banana and fried dumplings with plantains on the side i'm going in with three cups of all-purpose flour and i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a little sugar this will combat the baking powder i promise you not to make the dumplings sweet just maybe like a tablespoon or two depending on the amount of flour you have. So here I add three quarter cups of baking powder and I'm also gonna add a teaspoon of salt. I do use milk sometimes instead of water, but today I'm using a little milk powder in the flour. So I'm gonna use water. I'm just gonna combine all my dry ingredients and then I'm going to add some butter. I'm using a tablespoon of butter. This will add some nice color to the dumpling and give you that nice crisp on the outside. Now with clean hands, I'm rubbing the butter into the flour and I have here one cup of water. This is enough to combine all my dry ingredients and give it a nice soft dough. Now our mixture is fully combined, the dough is nice and soft, it's not dry and it's not too wet, it's just perfect and i like to knead my dumpling first so that i can set it aside and allow the dough to rest so i have my liver here and i'm using chicken liver i forgot to mention that now i'm just gonna clean it up real nice you can cut them in your desired size and though i love chicken liver this is not something that i would normally go out and order i have to cook it myself so we're just gonna clean it up you can rinse it with vinegar or lime lemon whatever you have and then we're gonna season. Now my liver is nice and clean. I am adding some garlic. I like a lot of garlic. Um, it will help to cut the rawness. You can add some minced ginger if you have some as well. I'm adding some kicking chicken seasoning, um, some black pepper, and this right here is a spicy chicken seasoning. All right, we're just gonna combine that. Season to your liking, use whatever seasoning you have. And I'm gonna go ahead, add some browning. What do you have? Um, caramel burnt sugar or soy sauce whatever you have to add some color to your liver that's totally fine We have our onion prep, scallion, thyme, scotch bonnet pepper or habanero, whichever one you have, bell peppers. Um, it's totally up to you. You don't have to add everything that I'm adding, but these are the things that I like in my liver. So I have it frying up for about five minutes on high heat. Now I'm just gonna reduce the heat and I'm gonna cover it so that it can produce its own liquid. We don't need to add any water at all, but I'm adding some thyme, yes, to give it some extra flavor. can see it looks white even though um, I add browning don't be tempted to add any extra browning while it's cooking down it will eventually develop the brown color all right so 
I'm gonna go ahead and add my remaining fresh veggies and just give it a couple more minutes and our liver is ready. It's easy to cook. Chicken liver is like a 15 minutes or less kind of cooking. It's very quick and easy, especially if you're frying it on high heat. It doesn't take a very long time, all right? So I have some extra veggies that I left back that I'm gonna add to the pot now and give it a couple more minutes and yeah, it's done. So some onion rings, a few more pieces of tomatoes. Um, some skillion and I think I did add a little parsley in there as well All right, it's looking so delicious. So we're gonna move on to our green bananas If you have made it this far in the video, I really really appreciate you for your love and your support Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that like button. All right, so I have two different banana one is more fitter than the other i like my banana on the younger side especially with liver or callaloo yes i like the younger banana so to complete this step faster i'm just gonna go ahead and core the bananas i'm not gonna do any peeling today so i wash them core them i just cut them deep enough to cut the skin open not to cut the banana all right so you're gonna make sure that you watch out for that so I'm just adding some salt to my boiling water. I didn't expect to cook this amount of banana, so the water is not a lot. So I'm just going to add a little more from my kettle, just so that the bananas can submerge and boil faster. And of course, I got to have some fried plantain on the side. If you want to boil it, that's fine as well. But um, I'm going to fry mine. I like it with the liver on the side with um, fried dumplings. So. so it's time to make our fried dumplings. You can see how soft and nice this dough is. It's very soft and very pliable. So what I'm gonna do is just pinch and roll to the size that I want. You can make your dumpling big, small, medium, whatever. Just pinch and roll, just go with the flow, all right? So I'm just gonna tuck it and roll it in a little ball. I have my plate dusted with flour. Just that when I'm ready to lift them from the plate, they don't stick to the plate. So now I'm gonna test my oil. You don't want the oil to be cold when you put the dumpling in there otherwise it's gonna soak up the dumpling is gonna soak up all that oil and you don't want that you want the right temperature also if it's too hot then the dumpling is gonna fry immediately on the outside and then inside is not gonna be cooked properly once I drop all my dumpling in the pot I'm just going to spin them over immediately and I continue spinning them until they are fully coated and they are fully cooked on the inside Breakfast is ready. So this was so good. And don't, don't guys, don't ask me if I ate this all by myself. I did not. I just ate half of the plate and I left some for lunchtime. All right. The only thing that's missing is some avocado and as you can see i'm sure if my husband was here he would still eat it but anyways thank you all so much for watching i love you all so much stay safe show some love and i'll catch you guys in my next video